final chapter. Can I go back? Oh, Sybil. Okay. Uh, I kind of want to explore. Huh. It's a lot less scary when everything's like crudely drawn like this. Hmm. Restriction. This is the third floor, I guess. Crying shadow. Maybe something could be given to her to her to help her pass. Hmm. Want scissors? No. You want chocolate? Ah, oh, not in the mood to eat. Uh, September 4th, the, that child starts randomly drawing all over the walls when she has nothing to do or is left unintended in the room. I could only follow behind her to the best of my ability. I told her that it was fine if we only drew on, only on paper, so we drew a huge stack of paper. I finished reading the fairy tale to her and also told her my stories and those of everyone around us. She drew a lot of pictures. I organized them into an illustration book. She just doesn't like to talk as much. She's not a bad child. If we all can't enter Margaret's room, then let me stay outside and play with her. 15th of September. Margaret smiles joyfully, but I'm never sure if this is a good thing for her. It's as if she's forgotten all the distasteful issues concerning the outside world, even her family and herself. She now lives with that person and the child. I'm happy as long as she's happy, so it's not a feeling of loneliness, but rather a sense of unease. Where had it gone wrong? She stopped playing the piano recently, so I let that child into the piano room. Although unfamiliar, she still had a wonderful time. Should I pick up the piano as well? Smile. Hmm. Well, I can go in here. It's, it's kind of weird, actually. I, I don't really recognize this place. But, uh, well, I guess, I guess this is the third floor, right? So... This way. Smile. Okay. This little gallery. I imagine. Okay. Well, this is all the same. Everything is light now, by the way, which is nice. <laughs> no more worrying about like, you know, seeing. We just see everything very clearly. Turn on TV. Hmm. Haha. <laughs> oh, we do that still though. Do, 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 do. E bathroom. I still rats though. Hmm. I imagine yeah, we probably need to go to the to the piano room. But first let me, you know, again explore some more. Oh, okay, this place is weird. Who are you? Shadow sitting in the rain. You want an umbrella? I'm sorry I let you stand in the rain, she said to her own shadow. Hmm. Okay, alright. Huh, that looked kind of weird, but alright. She had discovered. She has discovered. Okay. Hmm. You know, I wonder if these shadows have anything to do with like a uh, ending. You know, maybe if I help all the shadows, that's also unlock something, or maybe that's what you need to do anyway. Hmm. I could give her the hat. Yeah. Well, I don't know actually, because I'm thinking like maybe there's like, well, I don't know. We'll see. I guess. For now. I guess I'll ignore the shadows. Maybe I'll, I'll help them if I have to, but otherwise... I'm thinking there's two variables, actually. It's uh, whether or not you interact with the doll, you know, maybe? And whether or not you help the shadows, I'm thinking. Something like that. I don't know. Rains, Tomodachi. These rats are still walking about. It's annoying. Okay. Shivering the cold. Okay. Okay, yeah. It seems like these shadows are, you know, herself, basically. Um. Hmm. Uh, 
Let's see. Well, I'm thinking like... I don't know if it matters, because I did help one, though. I don't know. Did I... Okay, did I say before we went to the final chapter? I don't remember. Um... I don't remember. Oh, well. I, I don't think it matters too much, because I'm thinking, like, maybe I should save it, you know? Or rather... Maybe I should, like... Uh... You know, do... Do the puzzle, and then... Get... An ending, maybe? And then come back and then do the shadow things? I don't know. Again, I'm just guessing. I don't really know. It seems like that's what the... Oh, there's Child Scribbles. Oh, there's Child Scribbles. Okay. I mean, we can just go here, I guess? Um, sure. Could you just not do the puzzle? We can just not do the puzzle, I guess. <laughs> maybe. Oh no, it's just another shadow, I guess. Wide open eye, okay. Again, I'm thinking, yeah, these little shadow things you probably have to do in order to unlock some sort of ending. I mean, like some kind of like true ending. But for now though, I want to do the piano thing. It's funny that I can't look at the map. I'm not sure where the piano I think the piano is this way, right? I think so. Go this way. Piano room, alright. Mm, we'll draw open. Huh? Genosis? Actually, I don't know how you say it. Gen I say Genosis? No. Gnosians? I don't know how to say it. Hmm. Okay, those are symbols. Exclamation mark at. I mean, yeah, I've seen these symbols before, actually. Okay. Hmm. Oh. Okay. <laughs> it's, uh... Music! You know, I used to do... Uh, you know, piano classes, but... I don't... I don't remember m most of it anymore. It's also hard to, like... Equated to like the keyboard. No, it's not the full scale. Oh well. Uh, what am I supposed to do? Do a melody, I guess? I don't know, anyway. Um. Okay, well, we'll probably have to do the melody. According to this little chart here, which I mean, I guess, I mean, it's kind of obvious to me, it's music theory. So, like, how many letters are one, like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's kind of, it's kind of hard because you don't really know where it starts. If you're looking at, like, a measure, you know, usually it starts at one note. I mean, you know, like, face, every good boy deserves fudge, you know, that thing. Is that E? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know where, like, okay, I don't know where the bottom is and where the top is. No, this is... I guess G? Does it start with G, maybe? Is that what the hint is? It starts with G. If that's the case, if this is G, then it goes this one, then up one, then up one, then down one, then down. Like, boo, 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 like that? Something like that. Boo 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 boo. Nah, no, so not. So imagine G. It could be like G and then the keyboard, maybe. I don't know. It's like either G, the actual like, like this is G on the note, and also, I guess this is also G. <sighs> All right. So without spoiling myself on any on anything, I've learned that you can't do the piano puzzle yet. As far as I know, I think from like a quick Google search, basically. And again, without spoiling anything, because, well, actually, it's, um... It was nice that people, like, you know, actually put a spoiler tag, so you can't see the answer. But yeah, they said to, like, you're supposed to, like, go somewhere else. You're supposed to do something else. You can't do it here, right now. As far as I know, I think. So that was a waste of time. <laughs> that was a big waste of time. Oh, well. Do, 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 do. I was supposed to do something else first, basically. And I think, well, I mean, let's see. This place is still turning off and on, making noises. 
Uh, yeah, I'm supposed to uh, do the puzzle first. Guy, there's still there's still something else I didn't do yet. It's the, the whole like wooden puzzle thing, but well, I don't know how to do it still. The witch's songs. Yeah, I still I'm still missing something. I guess I have to explore. Well, I'm thinking. <sighs> Maybe you do have to help the shadows, you know? You know, the, sh the shadow people? I thought you didn't need to help them yet, but I guess you are? I they seem like ex something extra that you didn't need to do yet, but uh, maybe you do have to do it. Hmm. I thought you didn't have to do it. I don't know. I thought it was like extra stuff that you didn't have to worry about yet. But I guess not? Maybe? That's, what I'm, that's my guess. So maybe I do have to, like, you know help the little like shadow people who is basically elizabeth probably they're probably just elizabeth you know um so i guess i'll just do that hmm. is it? well i'll go back here okay let, let me just do that let me help the shadow people i thought you didn't have to do i don't know the way it felt the, the way the game felt i thought that maybe you didn't have to do this yet or something but i guess you do I'm gonna buy my original clothes. Because what she probably needs, you know, what this shallow person needs probably is a uh, is a hat. Because that's how we get into the room. We'll give her a hat. Yay! There you go. I'm sorry I didn't let you go inside and play with everyone. She said to her own shadow. Okay. Gave an umbrella as well to the other shadow person. Alright, uh, what else? What else? Who do we help next? Anyone here? No? They're usually in the, uh, you know, the paper drawings, I guess. Those two shadow people helped. Who else? What do you need? You need light. Or at least a way to warm up? Hmm. Way to warm up. Want this dress? No, well, I don't change it to a dress. I want to give her a dress, but uh, hmm. can I warm up the fireplace? Nothing to burn yet. Can I burn this formal dress. I burn something, right? Huh. Yeah. How about the paper? Yeah, because I don't. Well, I can't look at the map anymore, basically. Elizabeth just says it's child's drawings, so we'll just light up the paper. There you go. Warm you up. Now she's gone though. I'm sorry I didn't let you reach out for help then, she says her own shadow. Hmm. A raging fire. Okay. Alright, uh, who else? Let's see. I mean, probably down here, right? Yeah, this person right here. But, well, in order to... Hmm. In order to go to her, though, I need a key, right? Last time I checked, anyway. Yeah, wide open eye. It's the same thing, actually. Do these scissors count? No? Okay. <laughs> well... <laughs> hmm... So, I can't do that yet. And what else do I do then? I'm not- again, I'm stuck again. I don't know. <laughs> hmm... She had discovered it, apparently. I haven't discovered it, however. We need to cut something up, or... Hmm, shears. Cut it up? No. What do I cut up? Because that's the only item I have. I cut up, got the, you know, tube thing. It was only a broken toy upon closer inspection. Perhaps it could be put back on the wall. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't know. Okay. Put back on the wall. Okay, that's a that's a oh, that's a hit right there actually. Mm, where did I get it actually? I don't remember. So I'll put it back, back the uh, the tube ring thing. 
but I forget where I got it actually. Where did I get it? Uh, did I go here yet? I guess this is not blood after all. Oh, no, no. okay, I didn't go here yet. What do you want? Only a wooden blanket wrapped around it. Well, let me put this back here first. Oop. Let's go to the real beach after waking up from here, she thought. The real beach. This book is real. I, uh, oh, September 17th. Is this new? I, I, don't, I can't tell. I wanted to discuss Margaret's illness with that person, but Margaret noticed. I didn't want her to worry, so I pretended that nothing was going on. Or had it gone wrong. The child said she could already play a complete tune, so she dragged me to listen. It would be great if she could practice it as well. P.S. If you're snooping through this diary again, please remember to put it back on the shelf. Okay. Put it back on the shelf, I guess. Wait, who, who does it belong to, though? Diary? She hadn't been the one to take it out. Put it back on the shelf? Which shelf is it? Hmm. Oh, this is this is new. The rationaliza uh, rationali bleh, rationalization effect is when an individual bestows a reasonable explanation on certain unacceptable situations. The individual reinterprets things through employing self-deception in the pursuit of individual or social acceptance. Okay. The rationalization effect imparts into one's actions a logical, reasonable motive that is in line with societal needs, or as it is at least socially acceptable. It aids in easing the impact and replaces the truth with good reason, leading the actual reason to be put forth in another way. The purpose of which is to let one feel safe, reasonable. Empty space. But the results of the rationalization effect indicates that an individual is fooling oneself instead of others. These excuses make one's consciousness feel at ease, but if these self-fabricated reasons are believed to be true, then it would be difficult to improve the situation in reality. Hmm. Someone in delusion, you say. I guess put this diary back. Hmm. There are a lot of chocolates next to it, like a reward. Ten chocolates, okay. The candy wrapper was a page torn from a diary. Number 27. They argued over a doll. Elizabeth was injured when she fell. We were forced to stop this game of playing house. Something between the book's pages. A wooden piece. Okay, there you go. There's the piece right there. Okay. Well, we have a lot of chocolate. I don't want to eat it though. Oh well. Could we have gotten that before? I don't remember. I don't know. Look at the mirror. Look at the same. Okay. A wooden blanket. What about these scissors? Okay. How about this dress? Yeah, give it the formal dress. Okay. Now you're pretty. You have a twin tails. I'm sorry I didn't properly dress you up then, she said to her own shadow. Hmm. Interesting. Something fell out of the shadow. A metallic key. Okay. Won't be deceived. Hmm. Well, we're not, well, we're not Elizabeth technically, right? A quote unquote Elizabeth, I'm not sure. Wide open eye. Okay. That's, that's, okay. That's what we can use to open the, the gates in the basement. But, um, well, let's not do that yet, I guess. Not yet. Again, maybe, oh, okay, I don't know. I'm so confused about a lot of things. But that probably opening the gate for the shadows will probably, you know, unlock the true ending, you know, because I imagine, you know, the, the, the symbolism is quite obvious. The fact that uh, the key is an open eye, but like waking up, you know, from a dream, knowing the truth, something like that. So I won't do that yet, because I have all the wooden pieces, let's do that first maybe, if it's possible. Let's see. 
or otherwise maybe I still maybe I still I still do need to like you know help the shadows hmm. I don't have to solve this though <laughs> that's the problem and also um I'm thinking is there, is there any other place where I need to use the key in I don't think so because like, we've seen a lot because well unfortunately we don't have any maps anymore but I've seen like a lot of places in the map that says you know this place needs something with an open with an open eye you know but i think we've checked everything yeah as far as i know it's, it's the only it's, it's only the basement that's or the, the one under the base under the uh, staircase that's the only one we need which is some Yeah, remove all. Okay. I gotta look at this. How do I solve this? Hmm. Which is some. I mean, has something to do with addition, I guess? What do you mean by which? Which is some. You add? Like this way? But that doesn't make any sense. Is it? Hmm. So like I'm thinking like maybe well let's see so two plus seven nine plus one eight plus three okay okay so two plus seven is nine nine plus one is ten eight plus three twelve no like twelve ten uh nine. Unless I'm doing my math wrong. No, it's not twelve. It's not twelve. No, it's eleven. I don't. Know. I can't math. I cannot do addition anyway. Okay, so eight plus three is eleven. Nine plus one is ten. Eleven, ten, nine. Well, there's a bit of a pattern here. If you add them all like for, like vertically, there's a bit of a pattern there. Hmm. Eleven, ten, nine. So maybe you have to like make the numbers the same, you know, by adding, so it'll be, it'll be like, you know, 4, 5, 6 in that case. But did I do that already? I thought I did that already. 4, 5, 6, you know? But that doesn't make sense. If I did that already, then it didn't work. Hmm. Or maybe, well, the other way, well, is it the other way around? Uh, or, I don't know. But it's like, 9, 10, 11, so uh, the other way around. Oops, okay, so it was like, Four, five, six, like that. So four, five, six. The other way around. Okay. Because I did the opposite, actually. And that's my guess. No, four. Because all of them, if I do that, then all of them will have will equal the same amount if you uh, add them vertically, I guess. Right. That's my logic, anyway. So, like... Plus A is like um, 11, 4 is 15, you know, and 1 plus 9, 10, 15, and 2 plus 7 plus 6 is also, I assume, 15. Oh, okay. A piece of paper had fallen out from behind the puzzle. Alright. Sheet music, finally. Do your songs. On the sides. Oh, no. Hmm. Okay, there you go. Okay, this is how you read it, I guess? Hmm. Alright. It gives you colors. So I'm thinking, yeah. I'm gonna save it here. Because it feels like you have a choice of either doing the piano puzzle, or going to the basement, opening the key, or using the key to open the gate, or whatever. Let's do the, uh, the piano puzzle first. In that case. Uh, yeah. Wait. We'll just go here. And I'm thinking that unlocks different endings and everything. I think, yeah. As far as I know, it seems like... Well, we'll see, you know. Because I'm thinking, like, how do you get all the endings? How many endings are there? I think there's four? I think I checked, actually. You know, I just wanted to know how, how much endings are there and everything. I think there's four, but I'm not sure how to get them. But we'll see. I kind of just want to get the, like, normal ending first and then do that. Okay, so I gotta follow this. Hmm. I mean, it's the treble clef, so this is E. 
you know, you know, reading below, you know, the typical like every good boy deserves fudge and F A C E. Below that is always a little bit annoying because I never got past that point of music theory to like you know read it really fast. Can't really like sight read. I have to I have to like think about it. But uh, okay, E, this is D. Well, this is D. So this would be C. And this would be a B, right? That how it works? B, D, B, E. Okay. And, you know, the colors, okay, it makes, it makes more sense now because the colors, they uh, coincide with the colors on the keyboard. Okay. Let me just write that down, actually, just make it easier for myself. Though it is hard to read the colors, I don't know. Like what 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 does this what does this mean? It's pink, right? So it goes pink. Pink is B. And then green. Which is uh C. And then yellow, I guess. Yellow, which is uh Yellow is D. Cyan, I guess, is E. Blue is F. Right? And then purple would be G. And then uh, red would be A. Right? Because it restarts. You know, if you didn't know in music theory, I mean, it's very, it's very basic, but like, it goes up to G. And then it restarts to A. And usually, you, ju you just know, you know, basically, that this line for example is just e so you, this is the science always e it's from music theory and then you read it like this as well so you try to okay well okay i, I really gotta think like because i've been stuck on this forever so like i i have to like equate this with the sheet i guess So start okay how many is there one two three four five six seven. okay so seven symbols okay it makes sense okay, so it just coincides with all the colors down downwards starting with question mark the question mark is actually red hmm. and pink is wait well let me double check actually. pink is the oh pink is question mark oh yeah pink is question mark and the exclamation part is red, you know. The so green is the end symbol. Yellow is asterisk. Cyan is uh, percentage. Money, money, cash is blue. And the at symbol is purple. Okay. Now I can read it properly. I mean, the, the biggest thing is like, you know, knowing where to start. And I guess you start with A. So let me see if I can figure this out. Hmm. Or rather, well, you don't start. Maybe you start with A. You don't start with A. Actually, you start with a B. Did I get that wrong? No, no. Okay, pink. Okay, is because of the way I wrote my notes, I kind of get confused. But uh, you start with B. Yeah, that makes sense. You start with B. Let's see. You start with C. Early C. You start with C, and then percentage is E. I mean, I feel like this is what I did before. Unless... Uh, that's cyan, right? I can't, I can't see. I assume that's cyan. There's no, like, cyan color unless it's my computer. No! Oh! Ah, that's how they get you. It's this thing. This is the black key, which is like a D sharp or an E flat. They both mean the same thing, but you know. Okay, okay, they got me. I didn't notice that there was uh, some paint on the black keys, and obviously, you know, the paint indicates which notes are you supposed to play. Okay, okay. It's funny how I I got stuck on this for like I don't know more than half an hour, if you like. But oh well. Let's see. Okay, okay. So, so you start with the uh, C, which is green, which is also you know the the and symbol green 
and then cyan, like that. And then you go back down to asterisk, which is D. Go back here. It's like and then. Oh, oops, I did wrong. Okay, so uh, let me go. Okay, that's the first, you know, thing, and then the second one is. Got it, okay. Well, there you go. The draw on the side open. I guess a little melody there. Oh, I think it's dark again. Ah. Uh, oh well. I got a rare flower. Alright. September 28th. It seems that we really can't continue this way. I thought she was dreaming, but the one hiding in a beautiful dream was me. It was I who didn't dare face a suffering Margaret. I was too afraid to shoulder the responsibility and thus chose the easiest method. But this shouldn't have been the way. My responsibilities were supposed to be helping her return to the real world and not lead the way in escaping reality. To think I've spent so long to recall such a simple matter. It's time to end this. I should go wake up and leave this place. It's been a long time since I've entered her room, but let's go in still. I should bring flowers. Wake up. Leave in dreams what shouldn't be. Brought to reality. Yeah, we saw that before, a little phrase. Meow. Huh? I'm going, Sybil. Can I still play? <laughs> I guess, well... I guess the melody is, well... Oh, let me talk. Okay. No, that's wrong. Oops. <laughs> eh. It's hard to play on the, like, the computer keyboard. I don't know. I just, I just want to do it again. It's just to... I don't, what the... What? Like... What is this melody? Yeah, something like that, I don't know. Hmm. Bit of a cough. I've, I've, I've also added a hockey for like muting my mic now. So that's great. It's the... It's a little dot on the number pad. Or I guess the period, you know? It also stands for delete. Anyway. So now I can like sneeze and cough, you know, without it be it, like it being in the mic. Anyway, anyway, let's follow the cat. Do 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 do. Keep it, keep going. Where are you going, Sybil? Where are you going? Oh. Okay, and I guess yeah, since we didn't do the the whole key thing. I guess, can we still go there actually? I wonder. I'm gonna try anyway. Can I still go there? Hmm. Oh, now it's like the real world. Or, well, real illusionary world? It's like not the, like, the paper world? Yeah, I can still go, I still go in, but... Hmm, interesting. Well, I'm not gonna do that yet. I'm gonna explore that possibility later, maybe. It seems like there's no reason to, though. There's nothing there. I don't know. Hmm, I don't know. Well, I guess, uh, well, we need to go to... where is it? This way? I can't remember. We have to go to Margaret's room, I imagine, right? That's the last place we've never explored, right? Yeah, over here. <laughs> Let's do that. Wake up from this dream. He opened the door with a familiar voice. Look, what do you think of this ribbon? It's cute, right? Let's bring it with us when we go out next time. Daddy said he'll take us to the beach. That was Margaret. She just knew that was Margaret. The flowers and the shrubs have all bloomed today. Let's go out for a picnic later. No, can't go outside of the wall. We'll be fine just staying here. That's right. This is just a dream, she thought. Only in dreams will someone help her. Only in dreams will someone talk to her. Only in dreams will she have friends. Only in dreams will she see Margaret. Uh, it's so warm today. I wish this moment would never end. Elizabeth. 
she had thought several times that it would be nice to just stay like this and not wake up. But indeed, this could never be. Nothing could progress without waking up. I'm sorry, even though I'm not Elizabeth, she said as the floor swayed to her every uttered sound. She said, even though I have no way to make it all of you uh, like me, or even though I have no way to make all of you like me, hmm. although a lot of bad things have happened, but I still wish to return to a world in which all of this exists. He said, I can wake up already. Let me wake you up too. Please wake up and look carefully. Everyone knew that at whom he was looking at, that person, he was blank. I guess I don't, we don't know. Nope. Who are you? What are you doing here? What have you done with Elizabeth? The sun in her face and outside the window had all disappeared. Uh-oh. What are you saying? Why should I leave with you? What have you said that to that person? Margaret's features were a blurry mess. She dragged her stick-thin body heavily forwards with slow, plodding steps, accompanied by a cloud of darkness. It's you. It's you. It's you that have caused us to be like this. You always surreptitious, uh, surreptitiously talked about me with that person. You're always off on the side saying bad things about me to that person. That person only listens to you. He does anything you ask him to. She had finally figured out that Margaret wasn't talking to herself. Where had it gone? Don't you know? That person won't look at me as long as you're here. Why? Why? Why you? Why is there you? That familiar phrase made its uh, familiar phrase made its way into her ears. If only you weren't here. Uh -uh. If only you weren't here. Only you weren't here. Even though that's uh, spell right. Uh, if only you weren't here. 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 Oh. Oh. Uh. Oh, petals and the cat's corpse. Hmm. Oh. Where had it gone wrong? I could still seem to hear the adults say that. Ah, oh, not Sibo. Oh. My, uh... The, the rose I had is gone. I guess it was well, this now. Hmm. Well, I think I feel like we're gonna we're gonna get an end anyway, so I don't think we need to save at the moment. Maybe? Hmm. Well, I'll make a save anyway. So I gotta remember diary two is when before, you know, all this happened. Diary three is after this. Oh, what's this note? But surprisingly a lot of people realized that the prince wasn't looking at her. Hmm. Puss in Boots, the end. Okay, well, we, I guess we never got the end to that. Well, this is still bloodied. Is this new? Mm. If it gives you the option, I feel like, yeah, it's the same. It's the same, I feel like, yeah. Hmm. Look at myself? No, it's still the same. Broken and gone. Um, I don't know. What am I supposed to do? You go outside, I guess. Music again. Looking really, there's no one below. Okay, I was thinking like, wait, do I have to like jump off? <laughs> Maybe not. We can just like leave. Okay. Well. Smile. Okay. I mean, we're back here, I guess. Hmm. Let's see. It's, it's just back here, and that's. The, I feel like this is the only thing I can do anyway. Maybe I do have to do this? I guess I'll just do it anyway. A lonely shadow. Oh, that's it. Has the scissors? No. Has some chocolate? Ah, okay. Well. I opened the door. 
I didn't seem to do anything. Can I just leave? The front is the front door open yet? Because otherwise I'm just stuck. Hmm. Now what? Now what? I don't know. Lonely Shadow. Well actually, how about do you want this doll? Yeah, here you go, here's a doll. She doesn't want it. Wait a second. Elizabeth shouted unconsciously. Oh. Well, I guess she didn't want a doll. I don't know. Huh? Elizabeth? Darkness oozed out. Hmm. Where are you going? There was light all around, but that patch of darkness was so deep that the bottom couldn't be seen. Where are you going? It was like a coating of sugar had been completely melted. Where are you going? She had already remembered. About this place. About herself. She had remembered everything about that thing. Uh... He seemed whim like whimsical and everything, but I don't know, I guess at this point it seems like he's quite evil, I don't know. But the dream that he wished to end and asked in a sharp voice, Where are you going? <laughs> oh, damn it. I didn't run fast enough, I guess. Another cup of tea, a voice seemed to ask. She was sitting, but also seemed to be lying down. Her eyes were open, but also seemed to be closed. She saw clearly, and yet not so very clearly. Or some more sugar? A voice seemed to ask. A full cup of white sugar was then poured, with a swooshing sound, into a cup already filled with sugar cubes. Want to sleep a bit longer? A voice seemed to ask. Might as well, Elizabeth thought. After all, waking up will occur after sleeping, and sleeping still will still happen after waking up. Ah, what a quiet place. I wish this moment would never end. She didn't remember closing her eyes, but it seemed like they have never been open. The darkness that uh, offered peace of mind covered the world, leading her into dreams. Okay, well this doesn't sound like a good end. <laughs> this sounds like a never wake up end. Ending 2. Continuation of the dream. Hmm. Got one ending, I guess. Well, there you go. Let's see. Hmm. Hey, run. 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 What are you doing? Run. Go. Run. Run. Run! Run! Run, you fool! Yeah. Yeah. Keep running, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Just keep running. I'm just holding the, the left key. Just go. Just go. Do it, run. Don't stop for anything. Except maybe go front door? I don't know. Ah! Oh no. Must run quickly. Must run quickly. Oh, did I mess up? I don't know. But she lifted her head to find that the world was an expanse of black. No matches, no light, no people. The darkness was so uncompromisingly thick and opaque that, that it was like it would swallow someone whole. What was the door? To the front? In the back? She started losing track of direction and fell to a sitting position on the ground. The, back, the blackness started slowly eating away at her. So tired. Really want to sleep. Really, come this way. Huh? That's Sybil though, right? That's his bracelet. Uh, which way do I go? The front door? Eh. 
Go. I want to leave this place. Mm, pardon me. Oh good, are you awake? Sorry, but you'll catch a cold if you fall asleep here. Do you live nearby? Is that so? I haven't come back here for many years as well. Sorry, nothing much. Just that I've heard that this house will be cleaned up. Uh, my apologies. Hello. I was a nurse who used to work here. Oh, like a, a woman? Or, well, I mean, a, a guy can also be a nurse. I don't know. Just that, I think there was a piano in the house. I hope the new owner can avoid throwing it away. It's not worth a lot and it's quite old. It may have been left there for a long time without a tune-up. It's nothing important. Hmm? No, I don't play. It's just that before... Hmm, what? Hmm. It was a long time ago. I don't remember much of it. Where did it begin? Okay. That's another ending. Is that the true end, actually? Did I get the true end accidentally? Maybe. There is like two other endings, you know, to find, I feel like, but we'll see, I guess. Maybe, I don't know, I'll probably just look it up and see if I can find it, like how to do it and everything. If it's not too, like, annoying to do, you know, it's not like, as long as I don't need to do like a full playthrough again or anything, I don't know. Hmm. I wonder. Well, I wonder, like, that, that ending, uh, if it is a true end, because I'm thinking that that guy that came back or at least that nurse, I wonder, was it Sybil or maybe not? It's implied that Sybil was, you know, killed actually, so I don't know. Hmm. Like in regards to the story, I mean, I guess the story is like, I don't know, if I had to guess, like the, the whole house um, used to be like a mental asylum, right? Something like that. And then like Margaret was living there and that was like Elizabeth's mother, assumedly. Um, stuff happened. She's a little crazy. She's a little kooky, you know. Um, her caretaker was Sybil. She also had like a relationship with someone else. Maybe it was Sybil or maybe someone with someone else. I don't, I don't really know. I'm not sure. Hmm. But uh, eventually, I guess, I assume she maybe had twins, maybe? Right? Because it was mentioned before. I remember in chapter two, you know. Oh no, I have kids, you know. You have to like hide. You hide the fact that she's pregnant or something. I don't know, something like that. Um... But yeah, and Pinocchio chapter 3 kind of implies that she did have like two girls or maybe, I don't know, maybe the other one was a boy, I'm not sure. At least twins anyway. And one of them was Elizabeth. I guess, uh, yeah. And uh, the one we were playing, we thought we were Elizabeth, but actually we were the other person who apparently, well, I don't know. What, we just know that one child was uh, Margaret's child and the other one wasn't really shown to Margaret for some reason? I'm not sure. Because maybe she started going crazy, you know? And she couldn't be trusted with a child or something. I don't know. A lot of implications, I guess. A lot of metaphors you can like glean from the storybooks and diaries. Hmm. And something to do with, like, and, like, the demon guy as well. He might be, he might just be like, you know, a metaphor for something. I imagine, like, entire story itself, you know, it's, it's a dream, you know, quote it's a nightmare and everything. And it's, it's just all a metaphor for like, uh, Elizabeth's trauma. Again, Elizabeth, quote unquote, we don't know who's the true Elizabeth. We, we might be the Elizabeth that took her place, you know, of the other child. I don't know, something like that. Something like that. Hmm, I'm not sure. I want to see the other endings. I don't know if that was, was that the true end? It seemed like we, you know, escaped and everything, so... That seems like the true end. I wonder if it tells us. Let's see. Hidden ending. Song of Flowers. Okay, it's a hidden ending, so that makes sense. Song of Flowers. So, I mean, we escaped, basically. We got out of the house. We woke up. You can now view this special bonus for those who have finished the game and extra now. Okay. Alright. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think. There's still some extra stuff I don't really get, right? I still have these shears, right? Um, Sybil dies no matter what, which kind of sucks. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna go left. A little bit of like, oh, oh, uh oh, oh. Walks back a little bit. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And then text box, go! 
Go, 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 go. Okay. Let's keep going. I remember this scene a little bit different, actually. I don't know. I thought I saw, like, a different person there. The, uh, the, the red stained glass and everything. I guess we're just going through all the dreams. Go, 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 go. Eventually, it'll be like darkness, right? Just darkness. Eyes. Okay. Gotta remember, go down, go south. Remember, go south. Eh. Bye! Okay, good. Okay, there wasn't a text box there. Well, I, I, did, I did it a second time and like, I thought there's gonna be a text box right before you need to go to the front door. As it turns out, nope, it just like, it just pops. Anyway, a door! But the, bo the door that had been wrapped into bizarre shapes wouldn't budge no matter how she pushed. Uh-oh, wait a minute. And thus the darkness caught up to her. Shit. What? Nanny? Okay. I guess Mephisto's a weird doll thing. Where are you going? Why are you leaving? What's bad about this place? He squeezed out sounds with a grimace. Bad things are only stories here. Bad things all come with a reason here. Bad things are all someone's fault here. The cotton flew haphazardly. The ceiling was screaming. The air was crumpled into a ball. The house seemed like it would collapse any second. But none of this affected it. What's wrong? Why? Don't you like it? Then we can change into an appearance you like. It said, I can make myself into an appearance you like. Whether new or old. Whether man or woman. Whether a good, pass a good person or a bad person. Only I will help you. Only I will talk to you. Only I am your friend. Only I will call you Elizabeth. The ashen-colored face moved vigorously to the point of cracks appearing. Therefore, it doesn't matter that there's no one else. You're the one who's lost, Faust. She wanted to escape, but couldn't move a muscle. There was absolutely nothing on her anymore, and no matter how her trembling hands fumbled, ah, uh, there was something. You can't leave. You can't leave alone. You can't... The world shut its mouth for a second, as if finally willing to become still and listen to her speak. She let go of her hands and said next to the thing's ears, Thank you, but I can wake up now. Oh. By the way, that's what you do with the scissors, you know? I was learning about that. Wake up. Wake up! Here we are. Back in the outside world. Did you fall asleep? My gosh, how when for how long you actually fell asleep in these surroundings? You'll catch a cold. Hurry up and get up. We're heading back. Okay, this is the aunt, I guess. What a waste of time. You won't believe how run down this house is. Small as heck and nothing inside. No wonder no one's to come back. Hmm, what's wrong? What? You forgot what? What item? Father gave it to you. When did this happen? Before? <sighs> it must have been broken a long time ago. What do you want with that? I'm not going back again. Forget it. Let's talk about it some other day then. Elizabeth is already waiting. We need to go back. Hmm, okay. We still have to live together from now on, so the two of you shouldn't argue from day to night. Let's hurry and go. Alright, so Elizabeth, yeah, really is another person. And I guess we're living with our, we're living with our aunt now. Hmm. Okay. So, I guess yeah. Because I imagine the metaphor. I guess well, the implication is that uh, like we killed Elizabeth and took her place. I guess, but not really. I, I, that's not really what happened. That's like maybe her like desire, but it's not really what happened. So I guess Margaret's daughters did survive. Uh, Margaret herself, I don't know what happened to her, you know, she's probably dead. Uh, because this house is like all abandoned and everything, so no one's living here anymore. It's just her father still living here. Which I guess it might be Sybil? That's probably my best guess. It probably is Sybil. 
you know, our cat friend is her dad, as it turns out. Yeah, Sybil is probably dead as well, though. Well, obviously, because uh, we just had his funeral. So in which case, yeah, it, because, I mean, again, assuming Sybil is our father, you know, the character's father anyway, he probably died recently, and that's why we had his funeral, and he was killed by Margaret. And if I remember correctly, outside Margaret's room was like a broken railing, so, and there's a lot of like references to like, you know, suicide, so I imagine Margaret probably in her like, I don't know, in her like hysterical state, despite the fact that she killed Sybil, you know, um, she still understood that she, you know, Right, well, at the time anyway, when she killed Sybil, she didn't really, like realize she was killing him. You know, if that makes any sense. She was like delusional and everything. Um, but she probably did realize uh, that she did, you know. So she probably, you know, jumped off. That's what I'm thinking. She probably like, committed suicide. Jumped off the balcony. So basically, both her parents are dead. Uh, but yeah. And imagine, like, a, a lot of metaphors, a lot of implications, the fact that uh, our character, which I'm not sure her, what her name is... Maybe Faust, you know? That would make sense. Her name being Faust. Making the Faustian bargain with the devil. To uh, basically give her the desire to become Elizabeth instead of herself. Because I imagine she was abandoned, you know, by her mother. Instead, Elizabeth was the one that was like coddled and everything, maybe. Uh, is what I'm thinking. And in fact, her true appearance... Well, I don't know. I'm thinking like maybe her true appearance is something else. But maybe not. Maybe not. Because we do see her in real life. In reality, with a dress and everything, so I mean, uh, I don't know, I'm not sure. But that's probably what happened in reality, you know. It's just, it's just like a manifestation of her trauma, basically of her both her parents, you know, being dead, and uh, her herself, you know, being uh, ignored by her mother because maybe her mother again is delusional. Maybe she thought she only had one daughter, you know, she didn't recognize like another daughter, so maybe that's why. That's what I'm thinking anyway. Something like that. Hmm. So there's a button. It's a it's a doll actually, yeah. It's the doll. Oh, okay. So that's what happened. Again again, this it's funny because Elizabeth also, or at least Elizabeth quote unquote, probably had delusions very similar to her mother. And that's why she hallucinated the her doll being uh, the devil, you know? And she used the scissors to, like, defeat him or whatever. So that's what happened. Sort of. We leave that house behind. Hmm. I wonder who that nurse was, though. The hidden ending. Not sure. I just know the nurse wanted the piano. For some reason. Now Faust, or Faust, dream deeply. Till we meet? Again. Maybe. True ending. Faust is daydream. I think, I think our character's name is Faust. Or it could be just a, a metaphor, you know. Like, not, her name is not really Faust, but like, you know, it's just that she's similar to Faust in the, like, the actual like, story in real life. But yeah, there you go. Um, again, I'm missing one ending. I'll probably do it... Well, I don't know. I, I, I don't know how I'm going to edit it later. I might just put it in, you know, seamlessly, you know, on the YouTube. So so I don't have to, like, show it afterwards. It might, it's probably, like, a bad end. Um, so maybe not. Assuming I do that. Assuming I do that. There you go. That's all the endings. At least the endings that matter, anyway. Um... Yeah, I don't know if I missed anything. I mean, there's probably some deaths I missed, maybe? I'm not sure. I think I've seen everything. Interesting little game. Short, but you know, not too short. I mean, obviously, a lot longer for me because I had to like wander around, you know, aimlessly, not sure what to do. Okay, there's a, there's a few CGs missing. I imagine it's, a, yeah, it's like near here. I imagine it's the CGs where it involves, uh, you know, or other like the top hat and everything. It's probably what it involves, I'm guessing. Hmm. There's Sybil. There's a doll, you know, that's... How do you say his name? Mep Mephistopheles? Yeah, you know, the devil basically, who made a bargain. With uh, Faust. 
in exchange for their soul and everything. You know, I imagine they would be a lot more, I don't know, a lot more interesting. Or like, at least, you know, at least some, like, you know, not an ally necessarily, but like, I, 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 w I wish they were like a more interesting character in the sense that they they at least help you, you know, but for, you know, for their own reasons. But I guess, you know, it was just a figment of our dastardly delusions, maybe. Maybe, I don't know. I wonder who this guy was. Hmm, not sure. Again, probably things you can probably glean from the diaries. Maybe. I just know that he was looking for her sister, right? Or his sister, rather. So maybe he was like, again, maybe it's Margaret's, uh, Margaret's brother. So he's like an uncle, maybe. I don't know what happened to him, though. Hmm, okay. Again, some CG is missing. Um... At the time I'm streaming this, you know, I didn't do the bad end yet, but I'll probably do it later. So there you go. Anything else though? You know, sometimes a lot of RPG Maker games, there's like a bonus room you can go to, but I guess not. It's just like CGs. It's just CGs. Alright. I don't know. Hmm. I? Oh, very sad. Faust. Oh, okay. Oh, there's some uh, information here, actually. So, the name Faust hails from an ancient German legend. It is said that he possessed profound knowledge, but was dissatisfied with his life. Therefore, he made a deal with the demon to trade his soul for worldly pleasures, and was reborn when he was torn from an aged professor back into a young man. The Faust that belongs to this dreamscape is a young girl with a withdrawn character. She falls asleep and dreams after revisiting old haunts, mixing the realities of the past with her own wishes and desires. She receives from the demon a name that doesn't belong to her and participates in the bet, vowing that she wouldn't linger in an embrace of comfort. She swears that she won't profess, you are so wonderful, please wait a moment, to any second she experiences and a period of time that shouldn't have been repeated. Hmm. So yeah, that's kind of like, yeah, that's the bet from the very beginning. I guess the... That the idea is that she wouldn't like fall asleep forever, you know. There's the devil. He looks quite charming. It's just too bad like he's pure evil. <laughs> uh, Miss Me Mephistopheles. In Ghost False, Faust, whatever, the demon Mephistopheles declares to God that he can tempt and deceive the soul of his most loyal servant, uh, Faust, I guess. Therefore, it materialized on Earth and helped the aged Professor Faust Return to the glorious days of youth, reliving Faust's life anew with him. In this dream, as a young girl's only friend, it follows the girl in re-examining the memories of the past. It knows everything about her, brings her what she wants, and calls her by the name she yearns for. It does everything it can to keep her here. As for whether it's a demon, an illusion in a dream, the little girl's discarded doll, or a nightmare, well, we have no way of knowing. Okay, this is, you know, ambiguity. Because uh, it can be all of the above. It's more fun that way, I guess. Here's the cat. Sybil. In, uh... That's the hardest for me to go Nats. Go Nats Faust theme opera. The character of Sybil is usually portrayed by a cross-dressing mezzo-soprano. Sybil is infatuated with love for Margaret and isn't afraid even when the character feels the demon's aura. Sybil brings fresh flowers and sings moving songs of love beneath her window, but the character's songs are not heard. The Sybil that belongs to this dreamscape is in charge of taking care of Margaret's day-to-day -day living. Even though Sybil pours out heart and soul, the character is still subjected to Margaret's misunderstanding. As someone who is similar in, uh, is in similar straits to the girl, Sybil appears as the image of a black cat seemingly wearing a tuxedo in a young girl's dream. This is how they used to interact. Sibo helps her from behind the scenes from time to time. Hmm. I imagine, yeah, Sibo is like, I don't know, I don't know if it's like her real father, but you know, at the very least, Sibo cared about Faust, right? Because she knew about, like, he knew about Har Margaret and everything. I guess Margaret comes from, well, another like, like Faustian thing, you know, literary work. Who's this person? Let's see. Homunculus. Oh, okay. I never... Well, I don't know. Homunculus? I guess? I don't know. I never really got that. Homunculus indicates a man-made being created through using alchemy. In Gauss Faust, it's Faust's student Wagner who creates the homunculus. To the young girl, she and her twin were like that thing. 
In fact, the other twin, the Elizabeth, beloved by everyone, is a person that she admires and longs for but cannot become. But in this dream, in accordance with her wishes, that person became the melancholy, gloomy, frightening projection of her own image. Yeah, okay, so the idea is that in the dream, you know, she becomes Elizabeth, you know, what happens to, like, herself, Faust. So, well, this is what she, I guess, is reflected in her image. The, the, you know, the gloomy one. The moment when she pushed this self-satisfying self illusion down the stairs was when she finally saw clearly who this person was and who she was. Okay. And who's this? I don't know. Valentin. Valentin. Okay. Yeah. Well, actually, when I think about it, I don't know. It's hard, it's hard to, like, piece it all together. But, like, I guess Valentin was Margaret's... Well, let's see. Because I, I think it was mentioned in the diary. In uh, Beryl Laws' La Damnation de Faust, Margaret poisons her own mother in order to have an illicit license with uh, Faust. In most versions, Valentin is a soldier who, upon learning of his sister's infidelity, rages and demands a duel with Faust. He dies under Faust's sword as the latter benefits from the protection of the demon. Hmm. An insane Margaret, locked in jail, kills the baby that she had out of wedlock. Valentin dies a vengeful death as he bitterly curses his own sister that even if the heavens pardon her, she will never receive forgiveness on earth. Hmm. In this dream, the family prepares all sorts of treatment methods that are all abnormally ineffective for Margaret. She was obviously pregnant with her loved one's child but found people's surreptitious glances unbearable and was tortured by surrounding whispers. She had calmed down once, but Valentin's visit caused her to be engulfed in fear. She didn't wish to listen to her brother's recommendations and accidentally pushed him off the railing during a fight. Oh, is that what happened? Hmm. Margaret miscarried, oh, miscarried after this incident, and the young man was thus eternally buried in the young girl's memories. Okay. I guess that made her like... St okay, I never... I, I also never really got... I thought she, Well... I thought she herself, like... You know, fell off, but... I guess she accidentally killed her brother. That's what happened in reality. Um, I guess there's these guys as well. Pork, pork, get in, pork, get in. In the Greek mythology, the Porkinen, who are the three witches, were also sisters who share an eye and a tooth amongst them. They appear in the fantastical second act of Gauss Faust. In this dream, they are children who used to live with a young girl. Hmm. Okay. I I'd imagine again, since she. I guess since her mother wasn't fit to like take care of her, I guess she was like putting like a children's ward or whatever. Again, a lot of like uh, dream in the in the dreamscape, you know, a lot of like references to that where she was like living like a like a public area, or whatever, with like a lot of children and everything, you know. They take the various negative memories that she once experienced to create fear and terror within the nightmare. Hmm. Maybe she was bullied. I don't know. There you go. Nothing about Margaret herself, though, which is too bad. I kind of want to learn, like, 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 well, like what the, what the, like, what happened to Margaret in the first place. But uh, I don't know. my theory is that she killed herself. But then again, I don't know. It, it also looked like she killed Sybil as well. I feel like that's what happened though, because we don't really see Sybil in the real world. But, hmm. but I guess yeah, that's why this guy's bleeding. He fell down. He hit his head. Fell down, hurt his head, he's dead. Hmm. I don't know. Again, my, my theory, I might be wrong, but like, again, I guess... Margaret has some like weird like mental illness that no one could like fix. She had a relationship with someone, I'm not sure who it is. Might be... Might have been said in the diary, or maybe it was never said, but... She, you know, and something happened. I assume her husband didn't stay, I don't know. As far as I know, I don't know. Um, or at least, you know, was fed up with her because of her mental illness or whatever. Which is sad, but... Yeah, but then they, you know, they had the house, which I assume was a mental hospital and everything. I assume, unless that was also kind of like a dream thing, but I think it's true. And then, uh, yeah. And then, you know, she had the children. She had two, but again, she was like delusional, so she couldn't like tell who is who. And maybe she only gave love to one person, which was Elizabeth. But Faust, the other one, which was us, didn't receive any love. So we just ended up in like a children's ward without any like, uh, 
any like, you know, uh, a mother figure, I guess. And really, our only our only like ally would be Sybil, who was a caretaker of Margaret and was probably you know, uh, actually, I wonder if it was like a love triangle. Maybe he wasn't also in love like Margaret as well. I'm not sure. Otherwise, he's like you know our cat buddy who was very helpful actually and took care of, of uh, Faust as well. But uh, he, in tragedy, I guess, he also ended up dying. So I don't know. Hmm. But then again, well, okay, well, the beginning of the game was our father's funeral, right? So if it's not Sybil, then it's probably someone else in that case. So I'm not sure. I'm just not sure if Sybil's dead. <laughs> I don't know if Sybil's dead. I'll, I'll, I don't know. Let's look at the CG again. Where's the CG of the uh, hidden ending? Is it shell? I mean, it should shell, right? Hmm, I can't tell. All we see is boots, right? All we see is boots and chocolate as well. I guess, you know, Sybil probably gave us a lot of chocolate. That's what happened. That's why we love chocolate. I don't know. I like to think that this person was Sybil because he said he was a nurse. And, well, usually, you know, stereotypically nurses are female. But, like, a guy could be a nurse as well. And Sybil... Oh, I don't know. Sybil could be, a, could be a guy or it could be a woman as well, you know. I'm, I'm not sure. You don't know. I think probably a guy. But yeah. I like that. Well, I like that. yeah, maybe Sybil, you know, maybe Sybil isn't dead. You know, the, the whole like Margaret like choking Sybil thing, maybe it was a metaphor. You know, it wasn't like really. She wasn't really like choking him to death. It was just like she was so unbearable that, you know, Sybil couldn't handle her anymore or something like that. But uh, I don't know what happened to Margaret though. I don't know where she is. Either she's dead or somewhere else, you know? Either, uh, maybe she's in a mental asylum. Still, like she like like got transferred somewhere else. Either way, I guess we do know the father's dead, so Margaret's husband did die. That's why we ended up in this house in the first place, I guess. I wonder if her husband was like like a, a doctor or something. Maybe. Well, there you go. Well, either way, we escaped the nightmare, and our new father is Sybil, baby. That's what I like to think. He'll give us a lot of chocolate. All right, there you go. Okay, um, yeah. All right, so... When I finished my, uh, playthrough on stream, I actually missed an ending, so I, you know, went through the game one more time because I made a save after the point where you could get, like, another ending, I guess. It's, it's nothing too big, but, you know, it's something I wanted to see, so here you go. So just grab this doll. And we just need to get chased by, well, this person once again, and this time just get caught. And that will activate the bad end, as I've learned. Alright, so this time, just- just die. Just kill me. And apparently, well, let's see. Tick, talk, tick, talk. She woke up on the bed. Tick, talk, tick, talk. Her body was stiff, like there were numerous hands holding her in place. So tired as if her mind had awoken, but her body was still sleeping. Are you ready? There seemed to be someone weighing down her eyelids, not letting them open. You're going shopping with Margaret on the streets today. Are you ready? Have you put on your shoes yet, Elizabeth? She forced her eyes open with pure strength of will upon hearing this. Tick, talk, tick, talk. A shape the same as hers stood there. Tick, talk, tick, talk. The voice the same as hers replied, Yes. She desperately tried to make some noise. 
No, it's me. I'm here. I'm Elizabeth. But no one heard her words. The door closed again, leaving behind the sound of the moving second hand. Tick, tock. Tick, tock. A second followed a second. She watched Elizabeth leave. A second followed a second. She slept deeply again. Ending one, dear is Elizabeth. All right, there you go. That was the ending I missed when I, you know, did the, the playthrough live, technically. Just a small little thing, you know. And there you go. Uh, let's see. Just want to check. Yeah, I got all the CGs as well. If you were curious, there was one CG, another CG I accidentally, uh, Hmm, didn't see, or well, accidentally. Well, you can't, you're forced to miss it anyway, but like, uh, there was another CG of, you know, when you play hide and seek with the three little, you know, demon people, I guess, demon kids. Um, you can also hide in the empty box, but of course, they find you anyway, and then they murder you, so it doesn't matter what you do. Uh, and yeah, yeah, that's the CG right here. I guess it's just these four CGs, you know? Just watching Elizabeth going away, which of course. Uh, well, I'm not sure how I'm gonna like edit this into the playthrough, but I'm just gonna say, yeah, that's basically just a hint, you know, of uh, who we are as the main character. Yeah, there you go. 100%. I mean, yeah, that's it. Um, I don't know, it's, little, no, it's a cool little horror game. Um, I guess my only gripe, you know, is that sometimes the context for all of these puzzles is just like a little vague, so you just end up, at least for me anyway, I end up just being very lost. I probably, you know, on YouTube, I probably cut most of that out, but like, I did end up being lost in this house for quite a bit, you know, <laughs> because I just didn't know what to do next or whatever. The puzzle wasn't really clear what you needed to do at like several points, but eh, you know, it's probably, probably partly my fault as well. I'm just not good at puzzle games. Either way though, it was fun. I like it. I like it. I like it. Not too spooky as well. A little bit spooky, I guess. But not too spooky. Not like super like jump scare, you know. I don't like jump scares, you know. But, uh, but yeah, there you go. That was it for Faust Altrium. Thanks for watching. Until next time, see you then.